Friday. Are you excited? I thought I'd be recording. Right, Liam? Yeah. Hi guys, it's Friday. So I'm doing a weekend vlog. I didn't really vlog this week. We we had a long week, so I didn't I didn't vlog it. Um, maybe I'll go into it at another time. But we're on holiday. We are in Hastings. We are in Haven, and it looks amazing. I'm hoping the weather holds out. It's been raining on and off all day, so let's hope we have some good weather. Danny's just gone to grab the keys, and then we are on our way to a caravan. Hopefully we're not right at the other end of the park like we were last time because that was, although I did get my steps in, I have to say, but it'd be nice if we could be a bit closer. Yes, sweetheart. Um, I have a baby wobbly tooth. You have another wobbly tooth? Yeah. It'll be fine. If you if you lose it, tooth fairies do, do visit holidays. You'll be fine, okay? Okay. Okay. Where are we? There's no way we're number one. Oh. We're number one. <laughs> No, we're number one on a specific one. So we're right at the back. All the way down there. Number one. Number one. Cool. They have a Burger King here. They have a Papa Jones here. Really? Yep. Indoor port. Indoor port. Outdoor port. Roller disco. Roller disco. What? Roller disco. Pool and dark. Oh my god, all the way here. That's not too far. Look at that. Oh, we'll get around there in a minute. <gasps> that grass looks lovely and neat. I know. It's definitely been well watered. Yes. Look at that. It's a shame we don't have the weather for it. But yet, yeah, this time last year, it was boiling. Boiling, boiling, boiling. Always the one. Oh, it's, it might be a bit cold to go in there, though. But if we really like it here, we can book to come back in the like in the summer or something, or next year or something. That looks so cool. The entertainment is there, and our caravan is there. We live in a house like this. Ready? Wow. Welcome. Smells really clean. This is just. They always look like this. It's like, yep. Yeah. Bathroom, kitchen area. This is pretty much a standard Haven caravan, isn't it? It's pretty much what the last ones looked like. Yeah, identical, actually. Identical, pretty much. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Let's have a look. Are these one of the ones that have the two random toilets where you have a toilet in there and no. then, yeah, and then a yeah. random toilet there? Like what? <laughs> I don't understand the extra effort of walking from here to there to go to the toilet. Yeah. This is mine and Liam's bedroom. Yours and Liam's. Cameron's. And Mummy's and Daddy's. We're on holiday. It smells really nice. They've definitely sprayed something in here to make it smell good. Yeah. We just need to start unloading the car. Oh, and moving in. And they've got a boiler in here, haven't they? Yeah, these showers. Look at the size of that boiler. Something tells me we're going to have really good water. Yeah. This even is... A there's storage under there and sometimes there's a bed under there, but I don't know. Little fireplace. Hello. And we are literally right next to the clubhouse. How cool is that? The boys are bringing things in. Honestly, the amount of food that we bought is just <laughs> something else. But feeding a family of five, I'm going to start dinner now because it's actually, let me check my, it's nearly six o'clock. It's nearly six o'clock. So I'm going to do dinner and then we're gonna get ready to go out. Everyone's looking in because of where we are. <laughs> um, we are all ready for our evening entertainment. Looking all pretty, ready to go out. It was really good having a that ready meal box to, to have the first night because we literally cooked that up, ate that and got ready to go out. So timing wise, we're doing really well. Let me do the outfit of the evening. Pretty dress, gonna need a cardi because it's quite cold. 
Ollie, what are you wearing? Rolling Stones t-shirt. We've just a shirt over the top. Here, Dapper. And Danny's not wearing any skinny jeans for once. <laughs> just normal jeans for Danny. Okay, right, let's go. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Danny. Danny, where are you from? Yeah. Morning, guys. So, guess who's awake and who's not? Who's awake, Ollie? Mummy. Daddy's not awake. Daddy's not awake. Cameron's not awake. Liam's not awake. It's just me and you. And Ollie's watching some TV and I'm sat having a coffee. It's really peaceful. You can see it's quite bright out, although I can see the trees are breezing, so it looks like it's going to be a bit windy, but hopefully it's not too cold. Um, yeah, we had a really good night. The entertainment was a bit cheesy, but normally their main entertainment is not on the Friday night because obviously people are still coming in Friday night. Um, yeah, really cheesy, but fun than nevertheless and uh yeah just waiting for everyone to wake up and then i'll start making breakfast and then we'll go where are we going where is he Bo. <laughs> where will we be going today um to the swimming pool it's even the outside swimming pool looks so nice oh but it's far too cold isn't it to go to the outdoor swimming pool yeah but we'll go swimming and um yeah and then I think we want to head into Hastings. Jack in the Green Festival is on Main Parade being Monday. So we will check out of here and then head our way to there. But um, down Hastings, it's, it's a beautiful area. There's lots of lovely charity shops and stuff. So that's the plan. What a beautiful view. The clouds are very black over that way, but um, very pretty. No, 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 no. Yeah, you took a shortcut and we were we back before pretty, you. <laughs> we just got back from um, swimming. The pool was freezing. It took me so long to actually get past, you know, the midpoint. And then I was stuck here and I was like, oh, but then eventually I did get in. But yeah, it was, it was really, really nice. Yeah, Ollie got scraped because, you know, boys play rough. I want to show you a little scrape that you got. Like, who did it? Daddy. Daddy with did it watch. with his watch. He was playing with you in the water and his watch scratched you. And yeah, and, and we got recognised. I forgot to ask her name, but she's like, oh, hello? I was like, yeah. And then she's like, oh, I watch your vlogs. I was like, oh, wow. It was really, really nice. As the kids are like, you're going the wrong way. We're going this way. And I was like, yeah, you go that way and we'll go this way. We did, we did beat them back to the um, caravan. So we're just gonna have showers now um, because I did try really hard not to get my hair wet because of all the bleach. His hair definitely needs washing because his hair's got a lot of bleach in it too. Um, and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do. We might go into, um, roller might go roller skating, but we might go into Hastings as well. We'll see. see what, shops. Yeah, that's what dad wants to do. Yeah, shops. Dad wants to go to, um, in tasting so we can have a look in all the charity shops but yeah i can when you're inside and you're in the sun you can really feel that sun on you the sun is trying so hard to push through um and the sky looks lovely over this side but over that side it the sky is black it looks like really bad thunder rainstorm i'm hoping that's going the other way and we don't get none of that i did see some over there as well you saw some over there as well how are you guys enjoying it you tired? Yeah. I'm Swimming always makes you so tired. I'm not tired. No, you're never tired. No, never. I'm gonna have some lunch before we do anything else, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Guess what we've got? Pot noodles. Pot noodles. And do you know what? My mum actually bought me more pot noodles down, or the boys more pot noodles down, like they need them. She was like, they're curry flavour. I am not joking. There is a seagull knocking at my door, like pecking his little nose. Beak, beak, not nose, at the door. <laughs> Do you think I should open the door and be like, um, hello? Hello? Avon calling. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Seagull? How can I help you? That was 
so good. Did you see him? Did you see him knocking on my door? Do some fruit. Yeah. What? Hold the door because I'm scared he's going to come in and chase me. Mr. Seagull, is, is this what you would like? Mr. Seagull? Oh, good catch. No, let me shut the door again and see if he knocks. Okay, nice nice to see you. Take care. Tell your friends. Bye. Don't tell Bye. Your friends. <laughs> don't, tell your friends. don't tell your friends. Oh my gosh. Oh, there was another one. What? You get seagulls knocking on your door? <laughs> He's hilarious. He's still waiting out there. I wonder if he knocks again. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm so glad I managed to capture that on camera. That is hilarious. Let's go sit back down. See if he knocks. He weren't even scared though. I not opened the door and he just stepped back and just looked at me like, come on, you, you, you know. And that's what I was saying the other day about intelligence of animals. I had this conversation where I was like, animals are more intelligent than we even give them credit for. Like, my dog understands every word I say to her. If I say sit, she sits down. If I tell her to go away, she goes away. If I say to her, where's your toy? She'll go and get it. She understands every word. She barks at me and I'm oblivious. I don't have a clue what she's saying. So I always think, who's the clever one? Me or the dog? Oh I'd say the oh dog. Is, the, is it He's coming back. back. <laughs> He's coming back. And just all animals, oh the way they communicate He's and... looking at the door. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is hilarious. Liam's in the shower. When he comes out, he's going to think that's so funny. Yeah. Shall we tell him to answer the door? <laughs> yeah, Liam, there's someone. No, because if that bird gets in, that's it. It'll be moving in and we'll be moving out. Oh, it's back of the way. Oh, how funny. How funny is that? Yeah, I think. And all animals are so clever in comparison to us. They have ways of communicating that, that we can't even comprehend you know like dolphins and the way they use sound waves underwater and we can't do that they're much more clever than we are that bird though that bird <laughs> liam's hair probably, probably stayed here previously yeah as possibly, fed it yeah and, it, and it's and it's remembered and it's thought, oh, that's a good thing, yeah? a good thing. yeah i wonder <laughs> if it does it to everybody i wonder if it's known for it yeah. your hair I was just telling Liam what the seagull was doing and it was Liam that I was having that conversation with um, about how clever animals were, wasn't it? Do you remember yeah. we was having that conversation? Mm. And I said that they're the clever ones, not us. It's just amazing that they find a way to communicate with us because they're like, you're so stupid, you don't understand me talking to you, but let me find a way that you will figure it out. Yeah. And they, f and they do figure it out, like that bird pecking. What did you think of the video? Yeah, it was funny. It was hilarious. I can't believe that seagull was just banging on the door. That's the funniest thing. So, yeah. What else was we talking about animals? We spoke about dolphins and the way they communicate. Dogs. Dogs. The way they communicate. They're very clever. Very, very clever. What about, like, pigeons? They're clever. Um, well, a pigeon ain't knocked at me door. When a pigeon knocks at me door for food, then I would be impressed. No. But I am impressed by that seagull. Yeah. I'm Mr. Seagull has truly, truly impressed me. <laughs> we need to go and brush your hair, look. Yeah. <laughs> You're like a rabbit in headlights. Um, obviously, kids are on their technology, you know what that's like. Danny got some trousers from the charity shop. Three quid. Even got the tags on. Even still got the tags on. So yeah. And we got a ball. Show them the ball. Something like that. For Ollie for the swimming pool. We did pick up some maths books to help with coming to GCSEs. And then Liam got a, a little thing as well. Liam, show us what you got. Um I'm going to bounce it. I don't think it bounced. He's got his name on it. He picked it up and it just had his name on it. So it was yeah. meant to be, wasn't it, Liam? Mm. Mm -hmm. We are all ready to go off to the evening entertainment. Let me spin you around. Whit whoa. Whit whoa. Whit whoa. Whit whoa. This leather bracelet that he wears. I don't like it. He don't like it. <laughs> I wear it every day. 
you try and wear it every day. I got this for him for our leather wedding anniversary and he wears it like all the time. We've got towels everywhere because we're trying to dry them from going swimming and showering and stuff. So, yeah. You can see me in the corner there. In the toaster. See my ah. legs. <laughs> it, it, look, it looks a bit weird. Whoa. Whoa. I have this outfit on. It is a bit short normally. I don't wear things above the knee. But it is actually shorts and not a dress. So, I feel a bit more comfortable. Good morning, it's Sunday. So the first thing for today is a nice cooked breakfast. So Danny's taken the boys swimming. I really didn't want to go. Um, the pool was far too cold for me yesterday. I really dislike being cold. I just, I don't like it. <laughs> when we went to warm well, the pool was so warm and I really appreciate a warm pool. I was just like, do you know what? The kids don't feel it. Danny's just braver than me. <laughs> so he's taken them and I just had a really nice hot shower. It's amazing that these caravans, considering they're so small, that the showers are incredible. They have their own boiler, so the water is so hot. So I really enjoyed a nice shower. I got dressed, I'm gonna put a bit of makeup on. Um, and wait for them to get back. After they get back, we'll have a bit of lunch and then we'll find something else to do. It's amazing how quickly these holidays go. They go so super fast. I can't believe we're heading home tomorrow. You just blink. But it is so nice to just relax and also have a reason to get ready in the evenings. Do you know what I mean? Like We have this little routine that we get into where we get up, we have breakfast, we go swimming, we come back, we have lunch we find something to do um we come back we have dinner and then we get ready for the evening entertainment and we enjoy our evening it's just it's really really nice to have these little breaks and when you book them through the sun well they say they're like 950 15 pounds you know it don't work out that way this one was 150 pounds but I think that's still amazing, absolutely amazing when you think, what could you do for a family of five? Like you can't really go out for the day. If you used to go like Fort Park or something like that, you wouldn't even get out for a day for a family of five. Because by the time they add on their service charge, linen charge, utility charge, it does bump it up, but um, I still think it's an, um, an amazing price. You know, four days, three nights, pretty good going I think and then for food although I'm bringing more convenience foods which is a little bit more expensive than what we would have at home it's still a lot cheaper than going on holiday and eating out so yeah and then you've got all your gas and your electricity this place has central heating so you're not cold or anything like that and it's got that little electric fire as well it's really nice it's really really nice it's a break it's memories, it's a family time together and that's what counts. I don't know if you can tell that I am a little bit down, <laughs> even though I'm on holiday. We just had a week of it, honestly. I weren't sure if I was gonna go into it, but I'll touch on it. Like, we had a funeral, Danny lost his uncle, and that was really sad. Um, and then, it, whenever you go to a funeral, it always brings back every person you've lost when when you see that coffin it just you know and then Danny's cousin it was her dad she was grieving her dad and I know how that feels so it broke my heart um, and then also this week my aunt Mandy who reconnected with me through YouTube like because of my vlogs I mentioned in my DNA video that she'd done the the um, DNA and I didn't know because we'd lost contact and um, and she saw that and she reached out to me because of it and that was really lovely and we've been talking and uh, she sent me a package that came Thursday the day my mum came down so I sat with my mum and I opened it with her obviously I didn't record it because you know that's my mum's mum's belongings and um, my mum was very upset about it which broke my heart so it's just been a week of it do you know what I mean it's been a very emotional week because uh, my mum had nothing from her mum when she passed because you know what happens when people die not all the times but 
just most of the time. It happened with my dad. I have nothing from my dad when he passed. His, his partner at the time was obviously grieving and she didn't want to part with anything and what can you do? <laughs> I, I always thought and she was ready to go through his things she would send me a couple of bits of his but she never did and it's the same with my mum my mum never got nothing of her mum's um, so when my aunt Mandy sent a care package of some lovely items she sent me a couple of watches one for me and one for my mum and I gave my mum the watch you don't have a battery and I was like you know I'll get I'll get you a battery for it and I'll get it sorted for you she just she burst into tears and it was it was heartbreaking um, but then I also said, like, I know it's upset you, but you will feel better giving it a couple of days that you do have something of your mum's. So, yeah. I actually don't know if I'm going to leave that in. Do I, don't I? It's the truth. <laughs> That's my week. Because I know that my Aunt Mandy watches my vlogs, I just want to say a huge thank you to my Aunt Mandy, who has been completely selfless to give up something of her mum's too to give to me and my mum because I know how hard it is. Well, you know, when someone passes, you wanna grasp onto everything you have of them and not let go. So to actually let go of something of that person's is an amazing thing that you can do for somebody else. And it, it means the world, absolute the world. Packing up and ready to leave. We need to be out by 10 in the morning, so we're all ready to go, aren't we, Cameron? Yes. And we're getting ready for tonight as well at the same time. Look how smart Liam looks. I know you've got a job, you're getting rid of the rubbish, but look how smart with that waistcoat. <whistles> smart. It's Monday, it's the day of the Green Man Festival. I have my green eyes, my sparkly green eyes, and Ollie was the only one that wanted green nose. a green sparkly nose. <laughs> and we've all got something green on, including Danny. He's wearing a top with a green super dry logo on it. Um, <laughs> that's the same top you wore last year as well. And you wore it by accident, I remember going, you're not wearing anything green. I was like, oh, your top is. And then, yeah, he's like, I didn't do that on purpose. So. It's 10 o'clock, we're meant to be out of here by 10. We're just packing the last few bits away and then we're heading out the door. Thankfully, we're about 15 minutes from the actual festival. So we're gonna be nice and early and it's been really nice. And today is really sunny and bright, isn't it? Yeah. We've packed a coat because we're unsure what the weather's gonna hold because you never know. But hopefully it's, it's, it's sunny. nice. Hopefully it is sunny. Packing a jumper just in case. But yeah, it's been a wonderful holiday. Have you enjoyed it, guys? Yeah. What's been your favourite part? Um, Watch him say the seagull. <laughs> yeah, my favourite part was, was going in the waves and rabbit thing. Yeah, your virtual reality. You enjoyed that. What was your favourite yeah, part? It's either the seagull or what The raving rabbit's virtual reality. Yeah. Right, let's go then. Daddy, what was your favourite part? Probably a lot. A lot. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, it's nice to get away. Cameron, what was your favourite? All of it. All of it. Mm -hmm. He's wearing his badge from last year. See if we can get new ones for this year. You can have a whole collection of them. Let's go. Look at the effort they make on the street lamps and the roads. All the houses make such an effort. Look. It's so pretty. I 
think a ton of that top was good. They're too thick, don't they? Oh, what, the other top? Yeah, the other top was really thick as well. <gasps> See? See? Look at that! <laughs> That's like the upgraded <laughs> version! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's like Ooh, proper. No. How much are they? I don't know. Uh, they're good, they are. 25 pounds. Oh. This brooch out of the money that Nanny gave him. And it's super cute. And then we got the uh, this year's badge. And Cameron's actually wearing last year and this year. caravan place luckily it's like 15 minutes away because Liam forgot his necklace we need to go and see if the cleaners found that in our caravan and then we will be heading home it's only like half four so we'll probably grab McDonald's on the way back but yeah did you enjoy the day yeah yeah it was a bit cold but you enjoyed it yeah. Cameron yeah you enjoy it you enjoy your whole holiday yeah so yeah be sad to go home. I still have my green nose. Do you still have your green nose? Yeah, you do. You have a glittery green nose because mommy did that before we left. I should have done mine because <laughs> mine's a bit weird. 
but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one take care bye say bye bye, bye. i forgot to mention as part of their festival they basically like rip jack apart to release the um spirit of summer and then they hand out the leaves and it's meant to give you good luck for the the year to come i still have one from last year i dried it out so yeah